When you delete tables, you leave an empty disk space that fragments and slows the database processing time down. For example, if I delete a bunch of tables here, the size of the database will say is about yay big. It still stays the same, even though there's little holes within it because we deleted the tables. By compacting and repairing, what it does is it shrinks it up, the circle in this case, for my demonstration of a database, shrinks it up and collapses in on those empty holes here, or pockets of holes where tables used to be, that we now deleted. So for example, I come over here and I delete a few tables. Make sure I delete them. Select orders, details, delete it, say yes. Okay, now before I go ahead and I do my compact and repair, let's see what the total size of my database is by coming up, clicking on the office logo button, coming down to manage, and going to database properties. Click on the general tab, and it says the size right now is 3.7 megabytes, okay? And I just deleted some tables. Click OK. So at 3.74, when I go ahead and I compact and repair the database, it should shrink that size down further because right now, even though I deleted the tables with data, it's still seeing like it's still there because it's taking up space. It's still seeing those empty holes as still part of the database. We need to collapse it or compact it and repair that. So Office logo, down to Manage, and there it is, Compact and Repair Database. Go ahead and click on it, and we're done. Go back to Office logo, down to Manage, to database properties and it went down amazingly from 3.74 megabytes to 396 kilobytes which a thousand kilobytes and one megabyte so we cut it down by about two to three hundred percent by compacting and repairing so it's not such a big pig where we have to drag it across to copy to other networks or even when we come in to open this up it doesn't have to sort through those different empty holes to figure out what to pull up it's now compacted and repaired Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.